For some of us, getting our head around a brand new SLR camera can be daunting, especially if it's our first foray into serious photography. I'm lucky for two reasons. One, I've found someone who knows all about photography. And second, the part of Queensland we live in has photo opportunities just everywhere. Rhonda Ramage runs Deluxe Coastal Photo Tours, a company that offers full day and three day packages that take in some of the best scenery the Gold Coast has to offer. Why is it that you bring your classes to the rainforest? I just love the ambience in the rainforest, um, the sounds, just the feeling. And there's so many great things to photograph. And it can be a bit of a challenge in the rainforest because it's so contrasty. Yeah. Yeah. So much bright light There's and so much dark bright shadow. And dark, yeah, so, yeah. Springbrook National Park in the Gold Coast hinterland is as pretty as a picture. But pulling that picture off is often harder than it seems, and the natural bridge walk provides budding snappers with plenty of challenges. There's several things we can do with the water. A slow shutter speed will give us that nice, veily, soft, flowing water. A faster shutter speed will stop the action. So we'll give us droplets, um, and if your shutter speed's fast enough, you'll see those droplets splashing up in your image. And as far as composition goes, I'd maybe move around to try and not have this branch here, and just checking for bits sticking in or bits there that you really don't want in your shot. So it's really important to, to get your right composition the Natural Bridge is a stunning formation created by water working its way through the roof of a basalt cave. Inside, flashes are prohibited to protect a colony of glowworms, but it's a great opportunity to practice tripod skills. So, how did you develop this love for photography? Someone gave me an SLR camera a few years ago, four years ago. I had no idea how to use it. So I took a class and I was just hooked. Just, I just love it. And, and this area is perfect. You know, the beach, the rainforest. What more could you want? So the courses you do, are they for beginners or advanced? Or? Um, well, they're for both. Um, there's two areas of the course. For beginners, particularly to know how to use the camera, how to get it off auto, and how to get a great shot. For the more advanced photographer, they just want to go to the right place at the right time. Particularly someone from interstate or, or whatever. They don't know the area, they don't know where the good shots are, and yeah, I can take them. An additional feature of Rhonda's tours is the post-processing workshop, usually over morning or afternoon tea. It's always best to get the best you can get in your camera, um, but you can't always get can't always get what you see because yes. your camera is is not as good as your eyes. It wouldn't be a photography tour of the Gold Coast without taking home a picture of the beach. So, it's fitting that all of Rhonda's tours either start or finish at Burley Heads. You know, for all the technical skill you can attain, there's still an element of luck. If you can come to Burley Beach and find a double rainbow, well, it's a photograph that practically takes itself. 